Thursday marked the 11th day of strikes across France against French President Emmanuel Macron's pension reform plan. The protests come amid a deadlock in discussions between the unions and the government, and Macron supporters were quick to defend the French leader. Recently, Stéphane Vogeta, an MP for French citizens living abroad and part of the president's uh, Renaissance party, well, he tweeted this graphic published in the French business magazine uh, Capital, and the illustration compares uh, the pensions of the last three French presidents. Uh, we have Emmanuel Macron, François Hollande and Nicolas Sarkozy. And it explains that Sarkozy, who was the head of state between 2007 and 2012, currently receives 11,400 euros after tax per month. François Hollande, president between 2012 and 2017, receives 15,000 euros per month after tax. But Capital explains here that Emmanuel Macron has in advance renounced the presidential pension and that he hasn't held any other paid political uh, positions. So is this true? Well, not exactly. What's true is that in 2019, Macron wanted to reform the pension plan towards a points-based system. So his entourage told the French newspaper Le Parisien that the head of state will give up his very generous presidential retirement plan. Former French presidents uh, receive approximately 5,200 euros per month uh, for their pension. In addition to that, they're also guaranteed housing, their travel expenses are paid for, as well as their security and administrative teams. And there's also no minimum age requirement, as is the case of other French employees. As a reminder, Macron wants to raise the retirement uh, age from 62 to 64, but that's not the full pension rate. Uh, most French people receive the full rate at 67 years old. And in addition to that, most ex-presidents will receive more than the 5,200 euros per month because all the pensions of their other paid political positions are added on top of that. So, for example, if before uh, becoming president they were also an MP and a mayor, uh, well, the pensions of these two mandates are also added uh, on top of that, which explains why, for example, François Hollande and Nicolas Sarkozy have higher retirement rates. But the issue is that more than three years after Macron's promise of getting rid of the special presidential pension, well, nothing concrete has been done. The French business newspaper L'Opinion reminds us that no measure in the new pension reform plan uh, mentions the president's uh, retirement system. So Emmanuel Macron's promise of giving up his presidential pension remains, well, still only just a promise.